Good morning, Saints. We're here uh, today with Bishop Linden and Pastor Dan with Open Conversation. Earlier this morning, we were talking about um, the joy of the Lord is our strength, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to just talk about that today. Yeah, I think we have a scripture. I think coming to the book of Nehemiah was talking about the joy of the Lord is your strength, and we wanted to talk about how do we embrace the joy of the Lord, which is beyond happiness. We want to draw a distinction between joy and happy. And I think this scripture that we're going to talk about today will help us to understand that our joy is something that is not impacted by outward circumstances. It is a constant thing because of what God has done in our lives. So let's look at that scripture, Pastor Jan, and see what it says. Amen. It's coming from the Amplified uh, Version, uh, Nehemiah 8 and 10. It says, Then Israel said to them, Go your way, eat the rich festival food. Drink the sweet drinks right. and send portions to them for whom nothing is prepared. Mm -hmm. But this is a whole this is a day for this day is holy to our Lord. Mm -hmm. And do not be worried, for the joy of the Lord is your strength and your stronghold. Amen. I think that's very significant when they mention strength and stronghold. Mm -hmm. A lot of times the other translations that we may read may only say that the joy of the Lord is our but the Amplified Version takes it one step further. Not only is the joy of the Lord your strength, it is also your stronghold. And understand the difference between the joy of the Lord being your strength and versus naturally trying to work out at the gym. We talked about that earlier too. Right, and I was just saying how the joy of the Lord being your strength is like, you can't just go to the gym and say, okay, I feel weak today, I'm going to go to the gym and, and I'm going to lift some weights and I'm going to get some strength. Right. But this strength comes from God. Right. It comes from God. Yeah. The Lord is your strength. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's what we need to make a distinction. That this is not something that you have to try to, you can work yourself up to strength. This is a, yeah. a divine strength yeah. that comes from operating in joy. So again, as the writer encouraged those in his day, said, the joy of the Lord would be your strength. I want to encourage you today that no matter what you're going through, let the joy of the Lord be your strength. And also, your strong hope that when you about to give up, you know that you should not give in because God has a, a hiding place where he wants to keep you safe in his arms. Yeah. And so the scripture came to my mind for the book of Isaiah that says, uh, those, those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Do you need strength today, saints of God? Are you being pressed in lots of ways in your life where you feel like, oh, I can't go on? Well, what you need to do is to know that the joy of the Lord, find a reason to thank God, find a reason to praise God in spite of things. Sometimes praise Him in advance for what you believe in God's going to do. And I think just as this writer says, that you will find that the joy of the Lord will be your strength as well. Amen. What do you think about that, Pastor Yeah, the stronghold part is, mm -hmm. um, that stronghold mm -hmm. is like He's fortifying um, mm -hmm. the uh, protection mm -hmm. and the attack against the enemy. Yes. Whatever that comes to try to knock you down or to cause you to think that you've been defeated, he, he builds, builds a protection up against all of that. And we can just trust him and know that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Even when sometimes we think, oh, well, we've, we've done this and I've done that the right way. I thought I did this the right way. And it causes us to have some form of, oh, I don't know what to do. But just remember that the joy of the Lord. Don't let nothing, man cannot take that away yeah. because that's a joy that God gives and you can't be taken away. Amen. So Jesus says the joy that I give you is not the joy that the world gives you so the world cannot take it away. So don't let the world steal your joy, saints of God. Amen. You, when you find yourself going through difficulties and mm -hmm. trial, find a reason to praise Him and you'll find your joy stirring up inside of you and you'll be strengthened in my prayer within your spiritual, emotional, mental, and sometimes even physical self. So today, let the joy of the Lord be your strength. We're going to pray for those today who want to tap into this message. You may say, God, I need joy because I need strength and I need a stronghold to protect me from the enemy's attacks. So think about that as we pray right now. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you today, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, because that we know that 
that there's a joy that you give that surpasses all understanding. There's a peace that you give that surpasses all understanding, oh God. And we just thank you for the joy and the peace, oh God. We thank you for the victory over the enemy, oh God. Lord, we choose joy on today. We choose joy. We choose to rejoice and be glad in this day, oh God. No matter what comes, no matter what obstacles get in the way, oh God, we know that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And Lord, we just we claim it right now. We claim the victory right now. Whatever someone might be going through on today, oh God, whatever they might be facing, oh God, whether it be relationships, whether it be jobs, whether it be family, whether it be finances, Lord, whether it be physical health, oh God, we thank you for the joy. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank Jesus. You, we thank you for the joy that surpasses all understanding and the peace that surpasses all understanding. And we thank you for the victory right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, saints. So again, hold on to that word today. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength and Amen. your stronghold. Amen. And so as we always say before we close out our broadcast, we want you to be able to go up.